Hi, welcome to Buggy Monday at Drawing Club. Today we're drawing Simon the Cicada. This is Simon the Cicada. And to draw Simon, you will need a pencil and an eraser to erase any mistakes, and maybe a pencil sharpener, and at the end, a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline with, and maybe some uh, pencil crayons or some color markers to color with. But as usual, I'm going to use this gray marker here to draw with, just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'll move my little cicada down here to the side. Okay. So, uh, let's start Simon the Cicada with those beautiful, big... Actually, you know what? Let's start with his, um, just an oval for his head. We'll put on those big eyes next. So I'm going to draw an oval shape. like that for his head. And then we'll put on those enormous uh, big round compound eyes. So a big circle coming right out the side of his head there and the same on the other side. Another big circle going right outside of Simon's cicada head. And then we'll do a circle inside for a big shining ball of light like that and one more on this side and then we'll put some curving lines just for where some uh, shade or shadow will be on the eye just like this and again on the other side and remember if I'm drawing too quickly you can always pause the video and catch up and then usually I don't do this, but just to remind ourselves of the fact that we're going to want to um, shade this in black at the end. I'm just going to very lightly shade this in with some, uh, some gray. So you should be using your pencil for this. That way you can erase any lines at the end that you don't need. Okay. Uh, we'll do the antenna next. So we've got a long curving line coming out of the head like this. And there's one of his antenna, and the same on the other side. Like this. And bring it back down. And then, um, like a lot of insects, um, cicadas have more than just two eyes. They have these little things called simple eyes at the top of their head. Um, Bees and wasps have them as well, and lots of other insects have these uh, these little simple eyes. And those eyes can really just see light and dark. They can't actually see an image. There's the smile. And then let's do the rest of the body. So we've got, um, like all of the insects we've drawn before, well, all real insects anyway, uh, there's three body parts. So the head, this middle section is the thorax, so we'll just make a circle for the thorax. And we'll make a kind of an oval for the abdomen, which is the, the last part of an insect's body. Just like that. And for the legs, there's going to be six legs coming out of the thorax. I'm just going to make little kind of bean or sausage shapes here. That's the first part of the leg. The leg's going to be in three parts. The second part of the leg, like that. And the last part of the leg, like that. Now, if the legs are a bit too difficult, you can actually just leave them out and not even worry about doing them. Because I think the picture will look just as good with the legs or without the legs. There's the second leg. And here's the third. And then on the other side, the same again. Each leg in three parts. One. Two. And the last 
leg on this side, three. There we go. And then uh, we've got some quite large wings. I'm just going to do a big sweeping curving line coming right around the side there and then bring it back up and just connect it to the body. And the same on the other side, another big sweeping curving line and bring it back up like that. And then there's a kind of a little line that follows the outside of the wing part of the way down. I'm just going to stop it right there. And then the same on the other side. There are some veins in the wing too, but I don't think I'm going to draw them with my um, pencil. If you wanted to put them in, you could put them in with color pencil. I'll show you them at the end. And then there's a few more sort of um, curving lines that just show where the um, these little sort of bands along the, the thorax are. Just like that. And I think that's all we need to do with our um, pencil. So you can put away your pencil and go to your um, black marker or your black pencil crayon for the outlining part. Okay. So I think we're going to start with the eyes again. Um, because cicadas, uh, real cicadas do have these big wide set eyes. Cicadas are an interesting insect. I had never really heard them before I moved to Japan um, because I never heard them growing up in Ireland. And I don't know if we have them in Ireland. I don't think we do. And I had also not really heard them when I was a teenager living in the west of Canada. Um, if we have them in Kelowna or if I, I, I'd never heard them before. Um, so the first place I ever heard them was when, after I moved to Japan. And you can really hear them. They are an incredibly noisy insect. And in Japan, they're also quite, quite big as well. Um, and so after I left Japan and I moved back to Canada, um, I thought, you know, I'll be sad because I probably won't hear them anymore. They were a sound of the summer to me. Um, and... Uh, I was living in um, Ontario, and I didn't really hear them where I was living in Ontario. But then I came out to visit my parents. Um, they had moved here to Prince Edward Island, and where their cottage is in Canoe Cove, I was very surprised to hear cicadas. And I found out that we do have them on Prince Edward Island, and, and also they have them in Quebec, and they probably have them in Ontario as well. I just never heard them. Um, that much but you don't really see them very much if you've heard them they make this kind of um, high-pitched noise that almost sounds like electricity like like uh, the sound an electrical wire might make um, in Japan there was lots of different kinds of cicadas and they all made these different noises um, but they would kind of go like um, and they would, of course, there would be hundreds or thousands of them in the trees all doing it at the same time, so it was really no noisy. Um, but um, but I found them really interesting because you, uh, you because there were so many of them in Tokyo, you I did see them more. Um, but one of the reasons we don't really see them is they have an interesting life cycle. They, uh, the mother cicada will climb up into a tree and she will um, cut a little hole in the, in the bark of the tree or, or in the branch and lay her eggs inside. And when the eggs hatch, the little um, larvae, which are like the beetle, beetle babies, which look more like wor little worms, they fall out of the tree down onto the ground uh, below the tree and they wriggle down and dig down under the ground and they'll stay down there for years and years and years. Um, some will stay down there for two years or four years and there are some special kinds that will actually stay under there for 15 or 17 years. And while they're down there, they just kind of um, 
go to the roots of the trees and there's all these little kind of um, uh, smaller parts of the roots, um, the parts that are sucking up water out of the ground and, and other nutrients. And um, they will sort of just um, use them like straws and they'll just be underground uh, kind of drinking and taking uh, root juice um, and that's how they live. And they don't really actually hurt the trees, which is good. Um, they're not an insect that causes really damage to trees. Um, but they'll be under there for a long, long, long time. And then finally, they all, they'll all crawl out at the same time. And some in some places, there will be thousands and thousands and thousands of them all coming out of the ground at the same time. They'll climb up the tree and they'll start to sing. And you'll especially hear them on, on like sunny, hot days. Um, in fact, when I lived in Japan, I remember that sometimes if a cloud would go across the sun, all the cicadas would suddenly go quiet. And then the cloud would move past and then this huge noise would explode out of the trees again. And cicadas are actually so loud that if you were sitting under a tree full of them, all singing at the same time, you could actually damage your hearing. Um, so that's probably not a good idea. But I've never heard that many of them here. Um, where my parents are, I just usually I will hear one or two of them singing in the trees. There we go, this leg. Um, one of the reasons that so many of them all come out at the same time is actually because it's, it means that even if there's birds waiting to catch them, or other animals that might want to grab them and make them into food. Um, with so many of them coming out at the same time, it means, of course, some of them will definitely survive. And we'll be able to get up into the trees and we'll be able to have their eggs or lay their eggs so that there will be more cicadas uh, the next year. They can fly, as you can see, with these, these wings, um, although they're not exactly the most uh, graceful flyers <laughs> I can remember often seeing them tumbling around um, or even just falling out of trees sometimes um, when I lived in Japan. And actually one of the funniest things I ever saw, I was at a fireworks festival in a city called Yokohama. Um, and I was watching, we were all sitting under the trees, me and, and, and thousands of other people watching the fireworks. The fireworks were so powerful that every time one exploded, it shook the trees. And there was a young man sitting just in front of where me and my wife were sitting. And one of the trees shook really hard and a big cicada just fell out of it and right down the back of this man's shirt uh, into the collar of his shirt and inside his shirt. And I have never seen a human being take off their shirt so quickly. It was like his shirt just disappeared off his body as soon as that big cicada fell down the back of his neck um, and I couldn't help but laugh but kind of quietly so he didn't see and he didn't feel embarrassed um, okay so I think that's pretty much it for Simon the Cicada uh, this is a cicada that's kind of got some jewels on it that my wife bought for me a few years ago because she knows that I love bugs and I especially love cicadas so here is Simon again uh, in color uh, cicadas come in lots of different kinds of colors, so you can really color him any colors you want. But I gave him some red eyes, a green head, purplish body, and these golden kind of wings. And you can see here that I use my pencil crayon to put in these um, sort of veins into his wings. Um, but as I said, you can color Simon the Cicada any color you would like. All right, thanks for coming today.